hey guys hey so today we're gonna be talking about little fizz six nine as you guys can see from the side of the side they look so much alike and we're also gonna be talking about daniella who played zirconia on orange is the new black because she is identical to both of them so this is a side by side of her and little fizz here's a side by side of her and six nine and they all look so much alike okay so this is the first character which is little fizz little fizz was a part of the r&b group b2k and here is one of the pictures of the group okay and this is a very odd picture it is very feminine like this picture and especially fizz lil equals 33 15 48 33 is associated with masonry masonry equals 33 also masonry equals 84 which is the same as 48 that's why they use the name little a lot but spelled l-i-l -L. and orange is also 33 magic is also 33 because they are using a extraordinary amount of magic in their music and their posts things that they say which is also equals 33 Fizz, Magic with a K, and Dead all share the same Gematria, 41, AK 14, and 31 is also shared between Fizz and Magic with a K. Daniel Hernandez and Little Fizz's full name both have the same Gematria, which is insane. They share 140, 77, and 76. These two characters are identical, and they also share the same exact Gematria, which is insane how connected they are so b2k r&b group daniela their other character lil also has the same gematria as all of this so as you guys can see 15 and 43s shared between all four of these words phrases and names all right so the next character that we're going to break down is six nine six nine and daniela both have the same name basically so hers is daniela his is Daniels. She has the feminine version of that name. His stage name is 69. So the prime number of 69 is 347. 347, the numerology is 14. If you add up that, that's five. Of course, it's five because they use fives a lot because it associates with the five pointed star, aka the blazing star, which we see in masonry a lot. So here's a symbol of it the G's in the middle and the five point star. We also see it in pentagrams. So right here, this was before he was famous. And of course, he has a bunch of 6 9 tattoos on his arm, which looks ridiculous. This is a representation of duality. So 6 9 Little Fizz, Taurus, Daniel Hernandez, Little Fizz's real name and his last name all share the same Gematria, 76s and 49s and 89s all together, as you guys can see. Crazy thing about that is 6 9 is born May 8th, which makes him a Taurus. So the fact that Taurus links up with their names perfectly is insane. New York rapper Daniel Hernandez, Drew X Frederick, and Fizz all share 77 and 67. New Orleans and Daniel both share 45. This show that he has, Super Villain, and the subheading is the making of Takashi 6 9 and they're placing on his tattoos. I think this shows how they are characters and how they're made. They're like some characters. So the next character is Daniela and the show that she was on is Orange is the New Black. That full show, the title of that full show and Masonry have the exact same Gematria, 105 and 84. Zirconia was her name on the show and it just so happens to link up with Little Fizz's first name and his full name, including his middle name and her name, which is Daniela. And it shares 50, 121, and 49. The fact that it links up with her real name shows that she was scripted to play this character on that show. Murder and her last name have the same Gematria 83. One of these characters may get murdered or people around them may just keep dying, either or. Netflix and Daniel, which is 6 ix first name, both have the same exact Gematria. They both share 36. His other character, Daniela, is on a Netflix show, Orange is New Black. And then right here, some pictures of her on there. She looks like a dude so much. She looks identical to 6 9 and that's just freaking crazy. So 6 9 used to wear a lace front wig. This really shows her agenda. 
no man should be wearing lace around wigs that's like a full process and we're seeing that a lot now on instagram there's reels about ray j yk osiris putting on wigs that is a full process it's a weird inverted gender that they have going on right now switching the gender roles conscious x just mentioned that recently in his recent video which will be in the card above for you guys to check out so right here is akon and 6 9 and he has on a lace front wig a colorful wig at that this character 6 9 does a lot of colors to appeal to children and the colors automatically appeal to us because we were once children so it's in our subconscious already to be attracted to that and it's always rainbow themed the chakras are basically the rainbow so of course that's how he appeals to so many people so right here he's getting the wig put on and of course the guy doing the wig is doing the horns on the low they always do another that. ironic connection is that he's wearing lace front wigs and that's a feminine thing and he has a female character which is the daniela character so that's just pure mockery and then right here is him in his music video where he basically was cgi'd as a girl a female that's also pure mockery so a year ago conscious sex has a video about Lil fizz and 6 9 go check that video out if you haven't and then a few months ago conscious sex made another video and he mentioned the female character and as you guys can see from his thumbnail they look identical his thumbnail about little fizz and 6 9 they look identical too and i'm sure you guys more side by sides and then right here they look so much alike the fact that someone even photoshopped tattoos on her and place the wig on her to look exactly like 6 9 and it looks identical i cannot tell the difference and then here's another side by side of them they look exactly alike he's extremely colorful and it's actually sick how they make this character and then right here is another side by side of them they look so much alike it's actually just disgusting how she's blatantly identical to him like there's nothing really changed so now i want to talk about 6 9 songs and his albums and his symbolism in his songs and his music videos so his song titles yaya gooba gotti tati tutu you know there's many songs that he have and they're always either four letter words or if it's a five letter word it's something completely stupid and every time i used to see his music videos pop up or new songs come out that were pretty big i used to always think man these titles are like little kid song titles i know they had some type of meaning behind them so i did some gematria with them and the gematria part is just the scripting behind those names those titles but the obvious no-brainer is how these song titles and these album titles appeal to children and to the inner child within us. So Tati, Magic, Dead, LGBT, Daniela, which is this other character, Disaster, Frederick, and Fizz all share the same gematria as you guys can see. Tati is a song title that he has. Gotti and Little Fizz's first name and middle name both have the same gematria. So his song titles are scripted to his other characters. Yaya and Daniela, which is Zirconia, her last name, both share 20. Guba which is another song title, Disaster, LGBTQIA, and Magic with a K, and then LGBT without the QIA, and then Dead all share the same exact gematria, because a lot of these words and song titles are linking up with Dead gematria, the 22 and the 14. So the song Fifi that he has with Nick Minaj links to Gooba, which is his other song, so it was scripted for him to make that song, also linked with Fizz, Fizz is his base character so far. And then Dead links up to this. One thing I've noticed is that a lot of his songs and albums, the titles are linking to Dead Gematria. And then LGBT links up to this. And then Tati, which is another song, links up to this. So all the songs are intertwined, pre-planned, already picked titles, okay? So his other songs, Zaza and New Orleans, both have the same gematria little physics for new orleans so this is the thumbnail cover of the song gooba and he's doing the horns right here okay and of course he has a shark on his chain paying homage to his sea deities they are very much associated with the sea so this is his album covers and i'm just showing you guys because there's a lot of symbolism in his album covers especially since they are cartoons to appeal to children so in the album cover lanes of course they're looking at someone's behind and that's paying homage to male gaze and there's just a lot of it's to 
seem playful like these two are to like really seem playful and to appeal to children and then in Zaza Punani Yaya of course in the Yaya one he's in cereal okay just very weird and then this newest one is kind of evil right here he's very much evil like and another one dummy boy is peeing on a checkerboard floor but is peeing these different colors that possibly shows how they are not human you know so the next one tattletales because this is tales this is like you know stories cartoons fictional little characters and their tales and then of course the tattletale cover it's a circle like you know kind of like looney tunes how it has the hypnosis circle but he has all the different colors and he's popping out of it and so in the music video trolls of course he uses cats in that music video and then right here he has cats again cats are associated with darkness okay they're associated with evil and right here it says that they're agents of satan that's why a lot of times most people refer to cats as evil very smart animals so song is called trolls and they're trying to glorify trolls and make it all cute the word trolling has been used to describe ignorant people who hide in comment sections and i think that's the best way they hide that word they've done so many things and antics to disguise the word trolls so trolls are in quotations mythical they're a creature okay they were first mentioned in 1276 which is a very long time ago and they can turn to stone which is pretty interesting because what do we see a lot of times that celebrities are getting these statues okay and like any other deity trolls hate humans okay. and so this is what i'm talking about they do a numerous amount of things to cover up the idea of trolls for example this little kid movie that they have out they love to cover up this nasty ugly deity trolls are very ugly they love to cover it up with this cute colorful funny just disguising it basically and then right here is Nicki Minaj and 6 9 and she's pouring milk on him and here is his yaya music video thumbnail and he's spilling out milk and of course it's pink white and blue and then the tubs in the background he does a lot of symbolism pertaining towards children trying to reach two of the genders and to also push that fugazi agenda okay so what is the meaning of milk okay i'm not going to read this whole thing because this applies to a very brighter side of the meaning of milk the purity everything with them is not literal okay but you can figure out a few things based off context so milk is a fluid of eternal life all right and that's the bottom definition that's just the only definition that needs to be associated with why they are doing this they love targeting life okay they love targeting human beings and i highly recommend you guys go to my chloe bailey video where i read the story about the mermaid they are all about gaining human attention and love so that they can live on they don't have that magical gift that, that we possess so they're constantly aiming and striving and doing other grimy things to get that and it says that milk is a symbol of youth and purity so they love targeting children children are so young impressionable it's easy to get them attached hooked onto them and love them for the rest of their life it's like what i said in my chris brown video he kept talking about how he got people for generations you know so right here is him and nick minaj they are very close so on the show orange is new black which is a show that daniela was on she played the role of zirconia as i mentioned multiple times and on that show there's two people this cox lady and natasha and those two people both have mentioned nick minaj one of them was a guest co-host on the view the same day that nick minaj was on there and another one mentioned nick minaj in an interview so she's heavily entwined with another show that six nines other character is on and here we go a picture right here of six nine and he's doing the horns so yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate all of you guys and i love you guys Russia. so did you know i know i know it's in the skittles make me like and we body this quit playing y'all already know how we coming yeah <laughs>